Hi guys, it's Mrs. Longmire. In our previous reading lessons, we've talked about how we have two different voices when we read. We have a reading voice that actually reads the words and the pictures, and then we have a thinking voice that is, is the thoughts. It's like a thought bubble, and it's those little whispers that, that you have of, of what the, the words and the pictures mean when you're reading. And we've talked about using those together, using your reading voice, reading a few words, and then stopping and having a thought, and then reading some more, and then having a thought. And those two voices work really well together, no matter what kind of text you're reading. Well, we're going we're gonna to talk about how today, about how readers have three different voices. And we're going to introduce another voice that you can have when you're reading today. And it's called a distracting voice. And it's on red paper. And it's not a voice we really want to have. It, it's where we get distracted and we're not thinking about the text. But good readers have a distracting voice. It's normal. Everybody has a distracting voice. But good readers learn how to mute that distracting voice. Kind of like with a remote control and you hit the mute button so you can't hear it. Good readers learn how to mute that distracting voice so that they can go back to that thinking voice and reading voice and really think about what they're reading about. If you have that distracting voice creep in there, then it makes you think about other things and not the text. So a lot of times if your distracting voice creeps in while you're reading, then you're not going to remember what you read. And so good readers, once they notice that distracting voice is creeping in, they kind of mute that distracting voice, turn it down and have the distracting voice apologize to the thinking voice and, and then go back and, and read where you started to get distracted, reread it and use your thinking voice and make sure you keep that distracting voice out of the way. So you notice the three colors. You have the green for reading voice, reading the words, the yellow for what the words mean, the thinking voice, and then red, for distracting voice when you're not thinking about the text. And those three colors are just like a stoplight. You have green, you go, you're going right through the text. When you get to yellow, you start to slow down and you start to listen to those whispers in, in your voice that's telling you what you're reading and what it means. And then red, you stop, you stop and you, push that distracting voice out of your head. You mute the distracting voice so that you can go back to your thinking voice and reading voice. So it's sort of like green, yellow, red, like a stoplight. Okay. Today we're going, I'm going to show you what it could look like to have that distracting voice creep in. And then I'm going to let you have a chance to listen to my thoughts and tell if it's a thinking voice or a distracting voice. Okay, but first let me just show you what this could look like. So we're going to go back to the text that we were using the other day on Epic about different animals and how they're different and the same. And so I'm going to turn the page and try this. I'm going to use my reading voice. I'm a fast swimmer, turtle. I have big claws, lobster. I'm strong for my size, rhinoceros beetle. I burrow in the sand clam. But look closer now. We all have shells. Well, I had, I love to collect shells when I've gone to the beach before. One time we got so many shells that they were overflowing the bucket and we had to wash all the sand off of them before we could put them into a bag to take home with us. Oh, I think my distracting voice was creeping in. I was thinking about shells and sand and taking shells home, but that's not what this text is about. Let me go back and read it again. I'm a fast swimmer, turtle. I have big claws, lobster. I'm strong for my size, rhinoceros beetle. I burrow in the sand, clam. But look closer now, we all have shells. I never thought about how a turtle has a shell and so does a tiny little beetle bug. But yeah, they both have shells. They're alike. Or I've never thought about how a clam is similar to a turtle before. That's really interesting. 
keep going. I tunnel underground, ant. I hop through the meadow, grasshopper. I walk underwater, lobster. I flutter in the air, butterfly. But look closer now, we all have antenna. Antenna. I remember one time my dad telling me that antenna used to be on TVs so that you could get different channels back before they had satellite. And uh oh, my distracting voice was creeping in. I was thinking about TVs. Is that what the text is about? No, I better go back and reread this and, and mute my distracting voice. I tunnel underground, ant. I walk underwater, lobster. I hop through the meadow, grasshopper. I flutter in the air, butterfly. But look closer now, we all have antenna. Yeah, antenna are those things that they have on top of their head. Butterflies are really short antenna, but look how long the lobster's antenna are and the grasshopper's antenna are. They're longer than their bodies. See how I'm using my thinking voice? And I muted that distracting voice. Now I'm going to let you have a chance. I'm going to use my reading voice and then I'm going to have a thought. And I want you to, to think if it's a thinking voice thought, give me a thumbs up because that's what we want. If it's a distracting voice thought, then give me a thumbs down. If it's not about the text and I'm getting out distracted and off topic, give me a thumbs down. Okay. So here we go. I'm blue blue jay. I'm black, bat. I'm pink, flamingo. I'm yellow, butterfly. But look closer now, we all have wings. When I see the flamingo, I think of that pink color and it reminds me of cotton candy. I love cotton candy. It's so sweet and I love how it melts in your mouth. Okay. Was that a thinking voice about the text? Thumbs up. Or was that a distracting voice about something else? Thumbs down. Let you think. You're right. It was a distracting voice, wasn't it? I was thinking about pink cotton candy and how it melts in your mouth. Is that about the text? No. I've got to mute that distracting voice. Let me reread again. I'm blue, blue jay. I'm black, bat. I'm yellow, butterfly. I'm pink flamingo, but look closer now. We all have wings. They do all have wings. Look how tiny the butterfly's wings are and how big the flamingo's wings are. Even though they're all different colors, they all have wings to help them fly. Yeah, that's about the text. Those thoughts were about the text. That was my thinking voice. Let's try another one. I squeak bat. I meow cat. I growl, bear. I hiss, snake. But look closer now, we all have fangs. Fangs, those are like those little front teeth, those longer front teeth. I never knew that bears had fangs. I knew snakes had fangs and I knew bats had fangs. Did you know a cat had fangs? I never knew that before. Okay. Was that a thinking voice? Were those thoughts about the text? Or was that a distracting voice about something else? Did you do a thumbs up? Yeah, I was using my thinking voice. All of those thoughts were about the text. It was about the, the animals in the book. Let's try again. I perch chameleon. I slither snake. I plod tortoise. I swim salmon, but look closer now. We all have scales. Scales. Well, scales are something that you weigh on. I know I don't like to get on the scales very much. That's not very fun for adults. Okay. Was that a thinking voice about the text or was that a distracting voice about something else? Thumbs up or down? Let you think. Do you think distracting voice? You're right. I was thinking about weighing myself on a scale. I wasn't thinking about the animals with scaly skin. <sighs> Let me go back and read it again. I perch chameleon. I slither snake. I plod tortoise. I swim salmon. 
But look closer now, we all have scales. Scales. Scales are what type of skin? You have scaly skin. Like I know fish had scales and I knew snakes had scales, but I never thought about a tortoise having scales or a chameleon. Did you? That's interesting. They all have the same type of skin. That's using my thinking voice. So if you were in Mrs. Longmire's class, what I would have you do next is I know you, you have made your reading and thinking voice signs. Now, I would not make a distracting voice sign. Even though good readers sometimes have a distracting voice, we don't want to make a sign for it. We don't want you using it. We want you, as soon as it starts to creep in, we want you to mute it and turn it down and focus back on your reading and thinking voice. So if you were in my class, I would have you read, finish this book or read other books on Epic or anything, really. You could look at pictures like we did the other day or math graphs or anything that you use, but really focus on just using your reading and thinking voice. And notice when that distracting voice starts to creep in, mute it, stop it, put it away, and you may have to go back and reread if it crept in there and you weren't thinking about the story. That's what I would have you do but your teacher might have a better idea. Thanks and have a great day.